I see. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use Call of Duty as the canvas. And we're going to do some creativity with emblems. And the goal here is to create a brand new Care Bear. I'm going to show you my Death Bear up close and personal here. And you can see all the different layers that I've got going on in creating the Death Bear. Call of Duty! You said duty. <laughs> Reported to Twitch for incorrectly flagging this as a Call of Duty stream. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> change my scene? No, I don't want to change my scene. Okay, fine. I'll change my scene. I suppose you want to see it bigger. All right. All right. So, this is this is the current camera. This is the Death Bear. So we're not gonna we're not gonna completely replicate this bear. We're gonna create a new Care Bear, and we have 64 layers in which we can do it. Now, the real question is, what color do we want the Care Bear? All right, we're gonna go to plus. I always like to leave a few layers at the beginning because it gives me a little bit of freedom. But to start with, um, most of what you want is gonna be in the shape layers over here. And the basic shape that you're gonna to wanna to use the most often is the circle. The great thing about the circle is once you've actually got it there, you can press R3 in order to change it to free scale. So you can move it around back and forth. You make it wider, make it fatter, make it shorter. You're not constrained to just being a circle. You can do all kinds of fun stuff with it. So we want a fairly big body, but we want it to be taller than it is wide. And we're going to drop it down below here so that we can have a lot of room for the head. Now, don't worry about perfect placement at this point in time. It's, it's not really important. We're just trying to get basic idea of the body and the head in place to begin with. And actually, I think I'm, I'm going to switch out this layer. Any thoughts on the ancient 350 watt PSU run an almost as ancient? I, I have no idea what you're asking. Did you have enough oomph to encode video? Thought maybe you put your capture card into a separate PC? That would probably be a good idea. I don't imagine you'd need a whole lot of CPU power to, to do that. I'm going to switch this out. I don't want that circle, because right now I'm trying to make his cheeks, and his cheeks are fuzzy. And in the previous one, I used this, and what I did was basically just squish it down like so, and that became his cheeks. And then once I had that in place, I realized, oh, you know, this, this body isn't quite right. So I switched it out like this, but I don't I don't know if I want to do the same one again. Let's see if we can find a different That looks a little weird But we can try it. We can run with it and see what happens I'm gonna take another sphere I'm gonna squish that down It's gonna be a little more narrow than the body Yes, see, we're starting starting to see kind of the, the idea of the head shape. I think this is a little too weird, though. This is There's not enough fuzzy details in there, so I'm going to see if I can find a different shape to put there. Something with some jagged edges, but is generally round. That's, that's interesting. Eh. No. That's not going to work. All right, I think we're going to have to stick with the... Uh, I think we'll have to stick with the spiky edges, unfortunately. There's not a lot of options for... for this particular shape, unfortunately. I need something roundish with jaggy edges, but needs to be a lot of jaggy edges so that it'll look like hair or fur. 
I could try the flames, but I don't think that would be enough. So, yeah, we'll stick with the uh, the round, the round here. I'm gonna move this up a little more. Once we've got that in place, we can start thinking about color at this point. But we might want to get some ears in place as well, just to give it a little more of a, of a proper shape. I actually want to make that head a little more squat. I think that looks better. This body might need to be a little larger. No, that's probably going to be good, because I'm going to add arms to it as well. So from here... Actually, before I put on the arms, or the ears, I'm going to shrink down another sphere. And I know I can't see this right now. Let's go ahead and change this color. We're going to make a... What color are we going to make? We're going to make a green Care Bear this time. I'm going to make a light green looking sphere here. And bring it out not quite to the edges. I'm going to change the color of this. I'm going to set it to a darker green. There we go. I like those dark greens. I like that dark green. That looks good. But then I also want that to be in front of the headpiece. Now we're going to set the headpiece to the same color. There we go. And then, of course, the body needs to be the same color as well. So there, we have a basic bear shape. Oops. Constantly do that. This editor is a little wonky. Remembering which buttons to press when and all that kind of stuff. All right. Um, let's do this. Let's put another sphere in and we'll start looking at the body sphere. We're going to bring that in slightly. There we go. Try to get that basically centered. Let's change the color. Set it to the same green as the face. Oh, dang it. I keep I constantly do that. All right. There we go. Propped up against a Coke bottle so that's the car's don't come out of the slots. <laughs> I gotta look at this. Hold on. Uh, oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, stream. This is what Moses is, or Zomg is currently talking about. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> That's the PC he's trying to put back together <laughs> to put his capture card into. Oh, that's the best. <laughs> all right all right back to back to the bear i think that this is actually a little small make that a little wider there we go all right let's get some ears on him ears are gonna we can pick up from a number of different shapes you can have horny pointy ears you can have roundy normal ears What's kind of fun to do is give them irregular shaped ears. Like this is a cool shape for an ear. To do this, we're gonna we're gonna make that we'll make that the ear over here. We're gonna we're gonna rotate it. We're gonna bring it around about right there. That's a pretty cool looking ear. So we're gonna change its color, same as the body, of course. We're actually going to move this behind the body layer, or the head layer at, at least, because we want that to be behind. Now I'm going to copy and paste this layer, and then I'm going to change the color to the same one I used on the highlights, but then we're going to shrink this down, and we're going to move it slightly. Actually, need to adjust the scale slightly out of normal so that I can get it in here and maybe a little more rotation there we go that looks good now that's an ear now that's an ear needs more duct tape yes it does um, it definitely needs more duct tape all right um for the second ear though I don't want to do the same shape I want to do something slightly different what I really want to do is something like this that has a notch taken out of it I think we can do something cool with that, but I'm going to have to use multiple layers for that to to work. So I'm going to bring this down 
quite a ways. I'm gonna bring that. That looks about right. But then I need to make some kind of round parts. I actually wanna move this layer back. Oops, I moved it out of position. I'm gonna shrink it down a little. No, yeah, that'd be about right. Now it's gonna look like he has a notch taken out of his ear. So this is gonna be the, the darker green, the, the background green. Oops, I keep moving it. I keep forgetting which buttons to press when. All right, um, but now we need to add a little bit of round to that as well. So we're gonna bring this in, take this round piece, shrink it down quite a bit. I actually wanna flip that and then rotate it so that the round is kind of coming off of there. Bring that up slightly. There we go, that looks good. You know I could do this. Make it look like he has an irregular notch cut out of his ear. All right, now we gotta change the color. There we go. And I need one more round like this. I'm gonna copy and paste. Then we're gonna move that, but we're gonna rotate it back this way so that it's a little more round on the top part. There we go. Now that looks like an ear that's had some damage done to it. All right, and we wanna put a little bit of one more of these. You know what, I'm just gonna replace that. I'm just gonna copy and paste that straight into there. We're gonna change the color on it. And then we're gonna shrink it down a bit, rotate it. Uh, let's throw it out of scale slightly. Rotate it back and it's not quite coming out the way I want. There we go, that looks good. Oh, except actually that needs to match a little more closely. There we go. Now that looks like a messed up ear. Okay, one of the cool things they added recently though was the ability to link layers together. So I can link all of these together, select one of them, and then rotate the whole thing to get it a slightly better angle on the ear. It's not perfect by any means, but it's better than what we used to have to do. That's probably gonna be pretty good. There we go, I think that looks good. Now he's got this chunk taken out of his ear, which is pretty slick. Need to put a disc into it and see, do you actually have a spare case? Put a disc in and see if 920 can encode. I bet it can. I'm, I'm encoding 720p at 30 frames per second on a laptop with, you know, a laptop video card and it's not even it's not even taxed slightly. How, how on earth to get audio into it? Yeah, that's gonna be a bit more of a challenge. Pro method for creating these implements. Since you use a capture, PS4 screen and a computer, your layer, a semi-transparent window on top of your PS4 capture and use that as a guide. Oh, yeah, there you go. That would work. 920 is like seven years old, if not more. Yeah, yeah. Still, I think you could do it pretty easily. I mean, my my previous laptop, my 2012, so literally seven years old, 2012 MacBook Pro with a two gigabyte video card encoded 720p at 30 frames, no problem. No problem, it was all hardware encoding. So yeah, no big deal. All right, so I've done that. I'm gonna unlink those layers because you can, uh, yeah. So now we're gonna look at Eyes. You know what? No, we're gonna do arms next. Let's do arms. What shapes do I want for the arms? You know, something long and round. I could use the the oval shape again. Actually, I like this this egg looking thing. I think this makes some great looking arms. We're gonna we're gonna what we're gonna do is <laughs> little little stumpy arm like. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, what we're gonna do? We're gonna adjust ratio on that so that it's a little more long and narrow. Oops, there we go.
It is a bit of a narrow arm. It's not too bad. Actually, I don't think I like it. No, now that I've stretched it out. Excuse me, pardon the hiccup. Uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Let's see, what shape should we go for an arm? I don't want to go back to the, the the old standby of a of the oh that could be interesting of the circle let's flip that around that could be interesting what do you think of that could have him holding something? Should we have him holding something? Maybe we can have him holding something. Alright, he's gonna have... This is gonna have the same color as the body. Now it's looking like an arm. Except it's, it doesn't quite look right, to tell you the truth. Let's flip it back around. Let's bring it in... A little, make it a little more narrow. There we go. Now we're looking like an arm. All right. I don't want to duplicate. Well, maybe I do want to duplicate the, that same arm. So we'll just move this over here. That's not bad. That's not bad, you know? Have him holding something up like that. I'm gonna have to put some hands in here. I'm gonna move that over a few spaces because I know I'm gonna want to put some hands in there. But before we get too far into that, I want to put another piece of nose in place. It's gonna have this large center piece of a nose. It's gonna stick up slightly above the rest of his mouth area. I'm going to change that color slightly, but we're also going to duplicate this. And then we're going to change this to outline only. And then we're going to change... There we go. Now we're looking good, except I want to move that back behind the nose area. And then shift it slightly down below. Looking good, looking good. And then I want to make it a little bit transparent to make it look more like a shadow. That looks good. Maybe, maybe bring it out slightly. There we go. Now it's looking like a shadow. All right. So now let's get an actual nose in place. On the previous Death Bear, I used this nose. But we're gonna use this one, because this is a pretty cool looking nose. I'm gonna rotate that around entirely, 180 degrees, as close as I can get. This is so imprecise using the analog sticks. All right, that looks good. And we're going to change the color on that. Typically want to do something dark, blackish. Um, I could do black and then make it slightly transparent to give it a mild green tinge to it. Maybe I should look at putting in some uh, shadows underneath of it as well. So we're going to copy and paste this underneath of itself. Uh, we're going to change the color on the one underneath of itself to... Well, you know what? We're actually just going to change the opacity. First, I want to move it down quite a bit. And I'm going to change the scale on it. I'm going to squash it down a lot. Bring it slightly smaller so that it still fits underneath of here. And then we're going to change the opacity. Not quite that low. There we go. Let's go with 45%. Uh, I know what, let's go with 40%. That's looking good. So now we have a shadow underneath of the nose. 
So let's put let's put a highlight on the nose. And for the highlight, there's some pretty cool options. Let's go with this, I think, will be a good option for a highlight. I'm gonna shrink this down a lot, but I want to make it more narrow. There we go. Let's shrink it down a bit more. Try to get that rotation in there. Get it ever so perfect. We'll drop this opacity down to about 70%. That looks good. Now we have a nice nose. All right, so we've got nose. Oh, you know what? He needs freckles on his nose or whiskers, whisker dots. Is there a set of three dots that I can use? That would be nice. I would love that. I mean, I can make three dots easily. It just uses up a lot of layers to do that. Is there a three star? Oh, it's not in a triangle. That would have been perfect. I don't see any kind of three dot triangle looking anything. Sadly. Okay. Let's see. I don't see anything in there. I know it's not going to be in type. Emblems. Um, let's see what we have in emblems. Could be something worthwhile in here. Lots of fun things to put on his stomach, that's for sure. Ooh, I could use that as a blood splatter. That'll be fun. Ooh, more blood splatter. That'll be fun. All right, but nothing in terms of of three dots. All right, so we're going to make our own three dots. I'm just going to make these really small. I'm going to change the color on them. They're going to be super dark green. That's the smallest I can actually make it. That's interesting. All right, copy, paste, move that one. You know what, that dark green is terrible. I don't want that dark of a green. Yeah, that's better. All right, copy, paste, move that down here. And then we're gonna copy, paste again. This one's going to move over here, but now we're going to invert the little triangle just for a little bit of difference. Copy, paste. All right. There we go. That looks good. He's got little whisker things now. Now for a mouth. Let's go for a mouth. In the last one, we did the open mouth grinning maniacally. Let's go for like a pissed off looking frowny mouth. I'm gonna use that shape again. I want it to be a little more fat. I need to, there we go. There we go. Now we're looking good. Okay, so I'm gonna change that color. We're gonna pretty much go black on this one. Yeah, black. Let's let's do black. Let's go and maybe drop the opacity down to about 85%. Can't really see much difference. 80% is good. That's looking good. So now we've got the nose. We've got the mouth. We need eyes. Let's get some eyes in there. Start with the same basic sphere, like always. Bring that in. Roughly egg-shaped, shrink that down quite a ways. All right, and we're not gonna do the same, um, the same kind of uh, scarred eye. I don't wanna repeat that, but we're gonna do something crazy looking. All right, so now we'll get some black pupils in here. Shrink that down quite a ways. Let's change the color. We'll put that to straight black. 
That's fairly large, but also looks pretty good. Copy and paste this over here. He needs eyebrows, otherwise he's just gonna look like he's in shock, like mm -hmm. so, okay, so let's see, what can we do for eyebrows? We need something evil, something maniacal, something like a horn. There we go. Now we're talking. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make that like super intensely angled. And we're gonna change the color to super dark green. And we're gonna move it slightly off of there. I'm gonna copy and paste that, flip it, rotate it. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we got some evil eyes going on. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do this just so I can put this in here. But I'm actually gonna change this shape out. We're gonna put some highlights in the eyes just for something different. Take that same basic nose shape. I'm gonna bring it in. And we're gonna rotate that. And I'm going to get that slightly into the eye. I'm going to paste that here, but then we're going to move it back here. And we're going to move it over there. The glaring eyes. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right, let's drop the uh, opacity on that to about 80%. Should be good. Looking good, looking good. That's not the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. Do another 80% on that. Now we're talking. Maybe we'll do something red with those. What do you think? Something red. Oops. How's that red looking? Is that looking good? The pure evil eyes. And while we're at it, let's change. Let's change these to red, unless we can do... Can we do like a bloodshot eye? Is there some kind of spiderweb looking cracked shape with a lot of jaggy lines? Maybe an emblems? Mm. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, we're going to drop this back here. Just above there. And we're going to change that color to a nice blood red. Nice dark blood red. We're going to bring that down. Problem is, we need it to be clipped to... So we're going to change it out of... We're going to go a little bit wider so we can shrink it. There we go, that's looking good. I know you can still technically see that below. <laughs> that's really hard to, to correct for that. Because that's just such a long piece. Can make it a little more wide still. Go for that bloodshot eyes look. And then we'll adjust the color on this as well. Make that slightly... Ah, no, don't do that. Maybe make this a lot darker. There we go. And then if we're doing that, we should change this back to pure white. Bring that back up to 90%, just to give it more of a distinct color. All right, so let's change this over to pink. I'm going to change this back to pure white, put it back up to 90%. I'm going to copy and paste this into a new layer, and then we're going to move it right there, which allows us to move it over here. We're going to flip it so it doesn't look 
completely the same. I don't want it mirrored, so we're gonna rotate it around. Maybe like so. That's looking good. That's looking good. Okay, you know what? If I I bet if I duplicate this one more time. And then I rotate this one down this way, shrink it a little. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. That is one pissed off bear. All right, okay. He's got a chunk taken out of his ears, got these bloodshot eyes glaring at you, this nose, this frown. Okay. Now, we need something for his chest. What are we going to put on his chest? Got all these beautiful emblems to work with. We want something deadly. Deadly. So. Let's go for... Ooh. You know what? Let's have these... Ooh. There we go. Now we're talking. Let's have these giant... Fangs eating something. What 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 are those fangs gonna eat? Those fangs are going to eat zombies? That might be fun. Clowns. <laughs> Creepy ass clowns. Let's see. I think we might go with the zombies. Let's go. Let's let's have this dude chowing down on zombies. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Let's move him over slightly. We're gonna change their colors to this ultra dark green here, along with the fangs. Fangs actually should be the top layer. Bring this down here. Did not mean to do that. All right. Oops. Okay, we're gonna link these two real quick because I want to shrink them. That looks better. Okay, now, you know what this needs? This needs a bit of an outline. Let's switch that into outline mode. Change the color. I'm gonna go for that white outline. All right, white isn't working. At least not from a visual perspective. It's just, it's on too light of a color already. Don't want it super dark. I want it lighter, but I want to be able to see it. That's probably not bad. Let's go with that. All right, that's gonna be fine. But then what we wanna do here, we wanna add in some blood. So let's look at the emblems. I know we had some really good blood earlier that we saw. So we're gonna take this little stain of blood. First thing we're gonna do is make it red because blood red. Then we're gonna make it shrink down. I'm gonna throw that on there. Looking good, looking good. He needs hands, he needs hands with claws. And he needs to be holding something. He also needs to be adjusted slightly to the left. This is where the power of linking layers is gonna come in. 
Yeah, this is taking a little bit to do. But believe me, I've had to do this manually on every individual layer in the past in previous Call of Duty games. The ability to just do that. And sure, some things are off, but those things are generally going to be easy to fix in comparison. And it's actually not that bad, to tell you the truth. It's not that far off. There's only a few things that are off. Nose is looking okay. Mouth and... Well, the three dots are not looking so hot. Let's let's move. No, actually, that one's fine. This is the one that, that's off. There we go. And then this one's a bit off. There we go. That's better. And then the eyebrows. The eyebrows are off. Where did I put the eyebrows? I put them a lot farther down than that. Well, specifically this eyebrow. There we go. Oh, and that pupil is off as well. Which means that is also off. There we go. Now we're looking good. Looking good. But you know what? His general face area is looking a little fat. I did not mean to go all the way to that side. So I'm going to... Pop that down. That's looking a little funny. There we go. And then maybe bring that in slightly or down slightly. Down and in. I'm going to bring that slightly. No, I can't bring that in much. Otherwise, I screw up the... That's looking good. That's looking good. His body. All right. His body is a little large. There we go. Now we're talking. Let's get that body corrected. Ah, so much better. Which means we need to move his arms, which is no problem at all. Take that arm a little. Bring that arm in slightly. Oh, that looks so much better. Those tiny little tweaks like that, that can make all the difference. All right, we're gonna bring this in slightly as well. Make him look a little less fat. Nothing wrong with being fat. I mean, look at me. I'm doing all right. Okay, now let's give him a five o'clock shadow. Let's get really advanced here. We're going to we're going to go into the color picker. I'm going to switch to opacity, I'm sorry, to gradient mode. I'm going to select that. We're going to change the angle of gradient. Now we are talking. All right. Okay. Looking good. I'm going to do the same thing here. We're going to go into gradient mode. I'm going to change that to a slightly darker. And we're going to rotate it. Looks good. We're also going to adjust this one. To be darker. Nice. Looking good, looking good. All right. Starting to get some, some shadows and shading in there and stuff. All right, so we're gonna pick the second color here. We're gonna go slightly dark. Gonna rotate that around. And in this case, we're gonna change the offset as well. Bring the offset up so that it starts getting dark sooner. Not that soon. Probably about 55 would be good. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So now we've got some shading on the bear. It's not yet completely shaded. I actually need to adjust 
this it's one pixel that's good and then this is still looking a bit short to tell you the truth but then his eyes are looking a bit off that's his mouth so we're gonna group all of these together And we're going to move his eyes over and down a bit. Ungroup those. Group those together. And then we're going to move those over. And then this is a little off still. So the eyebrow is not rotated enough. All right, so now, is that the same color? I think it's the same color. Is it the same opacity, 100%? 100%, yes it is, okay. So, oh, his ear, his ear is off, his right ear. I'm sorry, left ear, he's looking at me on the, what I'm seeing as the right side, that is off. Okay, there we go. That looks better. This one, yeah, that one's fine. That one's fine. Okay, that's looking good. Now I've got a nice looking Care Bear. And by nice, of course, I mean nasty looking Care Bear. Now, can we adjust this to have a gradient and still make it look good? Do that, we would need to bring this down to about 90 degrees. Rotation. Which way is it moving? Let's move it the wrong way. All right. That actually looks pretty good, but now we need to adjust the body. All right, so we can adjust the body to about right there, and that looks pretty good. But now we've got that funny looking V-neck, so I need to drop that behind the body to fix that. Did you see what I did there, though? This is the, the general head shape. By moving the head shape in front of the body or behind the body, I'm instantly correcting for the for the the funny v-neck the the vest looking thing we don't want that vest at least i don't want that vest maybe you do want that vest and if you want that vest totally have that vest now we're going to adjust the arms we're actually going to start at the darker color and we're going to change it that's not what i meant to do we're going to change it to go out to the lighter color oh that's great that is perfect I don't even need to adjust that. Okay. So now we're gonna do the same thing over here. And we need to move that arm in slightly. There we go. But now we're gonna adjust the color. There we go. We'll switch that to gradient mode. We'll change that. Perfect. There we go. Now we have more of a 3D looking a little bit of shading in him, not not completely 3D, but a little bit of shading in him. And we're actually gonna adjust this again. We're gonna we're gonna take that to about 60%. And you know what? Maybe we're gonna actually adjust this. There we go. Now we're looking good. 70%. Yeah, 70% might be a bit much. Let's go back to 60%. There we go. Now we're looking good. Now we're looking good. He needs to be holding something, the way his arms are set up. He needs to be holding something. What should he be holding? You know what he also needs? He needs a little more blood splatter on those fangs. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's get some more blood splatter in here. Actually, I'm going to start by 
doing a copy and paste and I'm just going to replace that with that's the only other real blood splatter I suppose that'll work though Question is, where should that go? I want it behind, slightly behind. Yeah, now we're talking in the mouth. There we go. The bloody mess that we're making inside of his fangs. All right, that's looking good. That's looking good. I wonder though if I change this back to more of a white. That actually looks pretty good now. Since I've got the slightly darker green, I like that white. I could change this as well. Not change, I could duplicate it. And put a white outline on there. Which might look pretty good. Need to make this slightly larger. Let's not do outline mode. Let's just make him larger. There we go. That works. Give it a bit of an outline, not a complete outline, but a bit of an outline. All right, what's next? Hands, we still haven't done hands. Okay. First off, what's it gonna be holding? I want him to hold a scythe or maybe a bat. A bat with nails. Now we're talking, okay. Maybe he should just hold this above his head. There we go. That's looking good. And then for his other hand, now we're gonna do more with this, of course. Don't, don't worry, hold on just a minute. I think we had some brass knuckles in here. Did I see brass knuckles earlier? There they are, brass knuckles. All right, those brass knuckles are gonna need to be gradient. With like a silverish color, there we go, that looks good. And now the real challenge of getting the hands. Actually, I wanna get this one color first. This is gonna be brownish because it's a bat, there we go. Go, but then we're gonna do gradient and we make that darker on one side, but we're gonna adjust that so the gradient is more like that. Oh, excuse me. And we're gonna adjust the spread, wrong direction. That's what we're talking about. With that nice round look. There. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Now I need some blood on that as well. Before I get to the hands. Oh, you know what? Ugh, I didn't get this applied. Sorry about that. Let's get this applied. That's definitely wrong. We don't want the spread to be like that. We want it to be back at 50. But the position is off. Let's go, let's drop, nope, we need to go the other way.
there we go. And then the spread needs to go back this way. While this goes this way. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This is looking good. Okay. Now. Let's get his hands wrapped around this bat. We need something that can approximate a hand wrapping around. Let's see. Something roundish. Something... This is the hard part. Okay, let's try this. No, that, that flat edge is not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Ugh, all these flat edges. Alright, we're gonna have to try this again. I need this to be more flat. That's okay. You know, it's not great. I'm gonna adjust this to give us some color. That's clearly the wrong color. It needs a shadow underneath of it. So we're gonna have to duplicate it. Switch that. Uh, take that out of. You know what, we're gonna have to put that back into and we're gonna have to, oops, not rotate it. Well, maybe rotate it. We're gonna have to take that all the way down to zero. In terms of opacity. And adjust, yeah, the rotation is, is pretty good. But we're gonna, we're gonna adjust the positioning on that. The offset. To make it more transparent on the back end. There we go. And then color one is gonna go straight black. I wish that was darker. I could adjust the offset, right? There we go. Can't quite get the right pixel. That's not bad. That's not bad. I just ruined it though. All right, that's gonna have to be good enough. Okay, now we're gonna add some claws in here. Cause a bear's gotta have claws. I'm gonna put some sharp claws, not that, that, thank you. 
Okay. Those are the wrong shapes for the claws that I want, though. Okay, let's replace that. Let's replace that with this. This should be better. Make it slightly longer and skinnier. There we go. Now we're talking. Those are the claws that I wanted. All right, that's gonna we're gonna go gradient. Perfect. Then I'm gonna copy and paste that. I'm gonna move you down here. Copy and paste again. Move you over here. Let's move you up here slightly. There we go. There we go. Okay. Then we're going to copy and paste this. And basically do the same thing for this side. I don't know if I need the shadow here, though. Let's try this without the shadow. And one more. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. You know what? I think we have a complete Care Bear. We have one deranged looking Care Bear. I believe we do. Needs a fat cigar if you have the layers. I got plenty of layers, but I did a cigarette in the last one. So, no cigar for this guy. What could we do, though? We could do something something a little more fun with his cheeks. Something, maybe a scar. Is there anything that looks like a scar? Or maybe a tattoo on his arm? That'd be fun, a tattoo. Let's get a tattoo on him. There we go. We got a nice barbed wire tattoo across his arm. It does look a bit like a scar, but that's all right. We could definitely put a tattoo of... Ooh, let's do like a fish. Let's do a fish on this arm. I'm gonna skew the fish a bit. I'm gonna have it coming down this way. I'm going to change that color to a bit more of a black, except we want it to be not quite completely. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Maybe another part of the fish tattoo will go well with the fish tattoo. Is there some kind of an anchor? I don't see an anchor. 
Oh, there's a spider web, but that would have to be on his elbows. I don't see any anchors, unfortunately, but we could do an eagle claw, maybe? I could have the eagle claw pinching at the fish. That's not bad, that's not bad. Let's see what that looks like when I put Can't quite see what that is, is the thing. It would have to be a lighter color. That doesn't quite look right. We're gonna we're gonna delete that. I'm gonna call that fish tattoo. Probably, you know what? No, we're actually gonna do this. We're gonna copy and paste that. We're gonna we're gonna have two fish tattoos. There we go. That second hand doesn't look right. That's that's too far. direction that's, what, that's what's going on there all right so now we're gonna move these that looks much better There we go. That looks much better. Alright. Got some tattoos going. Still needs something else in his general mouth area. Drool? Ooh. Eh, that'd be hard to do. I don't know if I could do drool with the, the limited tool set that I have. That looks more like a blood splat, which that might work out okay here. If I change that to a blood red. Dude's gonna be a bloody mess. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. All right, let's find some more of that blood splatters. That is what we're gonna do. What else can we do for blood? What else can we do for blood? That's a nice looking scar. Oh uh, no. We do that again. Oh, excuse me. Hmm, there we go. Or should we do that dripping from the bat? Ooh. Ooh. 
Ooh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. The bloody splat along there. All right, all right. I'm gonna have that one running down the side of the bat. Drop the opacity on that one a bit more. There we go. Get some nice bloody splats going on with him. This one needs to come out slightly. There we go. And then we need another one of those. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have some try to have some fun with this. gonna do that then he's gonna need some blood on his arms at least on that right arm maybe 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 we should just take another one of those Ugh. there yeah now we're talking oh that was layer 64 all right you know what that's layer 64 that is every layer that we have available to us I think we're gonna call that done this has taken just over an hour for me to do now bear in mind that I've done this you know a few dozen times over the last six or eight years with Call of Duty and Battlefield 1 and whatnot. So this is not going to be nearly as easy for somebody else to do this the first time. I'm, I'm very used to these tools. I've done this a lot. I know how these tools work, how the shapes work. I just had to get used to the specific button clicks this time around. But, it, you know, I generally got it done pretty quickly here. I got it, all of this done in just over an hour. So if you want to create yourself this crazy looking kind of care bear like i've done here you can pretty much follow along to what i just showed you and it's generally going to work out well a few basic shapes a couple of ovals starting with the circle turning them into ovals and you're going to be just about where you need to be you could pretty much do this whole thing with just ovals just the circle tool if you really wanted to and it wouldn't turn out that bad it would actually be pretty cool looking to use just ovals I chose a lot of different shapes because, you know, I know how to use these tools. I know how to make them work well. I know how to make these things look good together. At least look good enough to be passable as, you know, a 3D crazy looking psychotic bear with blood covered all over the bat and the in his arm and the zombie munching symbol on his belly and, and everything else that we have going on. But anyways, I'd like to say thank you for hanging out with me tonight and for all of you watching this on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming. Oh, and be sure to check out uh, twitch.tv slash CodeNinjaGaming for more great fun with Emblem Editors and other Call of Duty and other games that I like to play. All right, thanks for watching, and happy gaming. So there we go. Excellent. All right, now let's save this.